All right, sorry for that thing there. So let me now welcome you to this session on the first cut cutoffs of the evening slot. We have just now completed two videos where we looked at the first cut analysis and also strategy inputs. Now we'll this is more a number based session where we'll bring you uh, bring to you the numbers, the cutoff numbers across various percentiles for each of the three slots and the each of the three sections and the overall score numbers also at different percentiles. So let's quickly jump in and see what the cutoff numbers for the VRC section are going to look like. So here for uh, the VRC section at 85 percentile, the score that is required to get 85 is around 19 to 21 marks. Now we have already seen that this section is the is slightly tougher than the toughest of the three sections, three slots last year. So, which means the cutoffs are expected to go down and that is what is happening here. So, 27 to 29 marks for 99 percentile and 38 to 40 marks for, uh, for 27 to 29 for 95 and 38 to 40 for 99. Now, this section with 24 questions has a total score of 72. 72 being the total score, the 99 percentile is only at a 38 to 40 range. That's a pretty low cutoff. And it is, it is so low because of the difficulty level of the section, right? And what are the number of attempts that are required? 15 attempts for 99 percent. 15 attempts with around 80 plus percentile of accuracy is what we are talking about. And to cross the cutoff, you would need around 8 attempts. So if you ignored all the RCs and focused only on the verbal ability section, and if you get, let's say, around six to seven of them correct, then you would broadly be in the cutoff range. Or if you ignore everything else and just focused on two RC passages, you should be able to uh, get very, very close to this cutoff number in the VRC section. Let's now move to the DLR section. As we have seen in the uh, first cut analysis video, this section, each and every set in this section has a difficulty flavor. Some a very difficult flavor, some a difficult to very difficult flavor, some a moderate to difficult flavor, right? So, which means again, the cutoffs will drop in this section. And as you see, 85 percentile is 11 to 13, right? Which means if you do one set, if you do crack one set completely, you'll comfortably cross, you'll be able to comfortably cross 85 percentile cutoff, right? Whereas for 99 percentile, we get, we expect around, it to be around 28, so not even 30, which means even 10 questions are not required. You crack two full sets, or one five question set and one four question set, you should be in the 99 percentile range for DILR. Let's now look at what the numbers are in quant. In quant again was a bloodbath. Why was it a bloodbath? Look at the number for 85 percentile. To clear the cutoff, you just need three to four questions, which is why we are saying you attempt five questions, even if you get one wrong, which means you got four rights and one wrong, four threes, 12, and if that one wrong is a theta question or a fill in the blank question, then you end up with 12, which will comfortably make you cross 85. Even if you got that wrong, you will get 11, which will keep you on the, as you see, 11 is the upper range. Upper side of the range is 11, right? So, which means with around four to five questions, you should be able to cross 85 percentile comfortably. So, for those of you who are worrying that you attempted very, very low number of questions in this section, take heart because there would be many, many other people like you who would have done the same, right? So, also if we go to the other extreme and look at the 99 percentile requirement, it is a very, very measly 24 to 26, which means 25 marks is the center number. So, to get 25 marks, you need to attempt around 11 questions with good accuracy. So, 11 questions with good accuracy is out of 22 questions, 50 percent of the paper is what you are expected to attempt, not even get right. 50 percent of the questions you attempt and you get what some uh, 8 questions right, 8 threes, you end up at 24. You get 9 questions right, 9 threes, 27, 1 wrong, you are at 26. 8 threes, 24, you get 2 wrong, you are at 22, almost pushing the boundary of knocking on the doors of 99 percentile. That is how it is looking for quant, a fairly tough nut to crack this time. And we have the overall numbers here, 90, 95 and 99. Why are we looking at 95 and why not 85? 
because 85 percentile is the sectional cutoff figure whereas 1995 and 99 are good percentile ranges in the overall uh, for the overall score now let's start at the higher upper end here we have 78 as the middle number here for 99 percentile which means we are saying around 31 to 32 attempts so even if let's say 20 percent of your attempts go wrong so which means around six questions go wrong you are at 25 or 26 attempts so 26 threes you are at 78 and uh, 6 78 minus 2 would be around 72 so you will be knocking on this one so which means your accuracy should be on the up north higher side of 80 at around 85 percentile accuracy percent accuracy you should be able to get 99 percentile with about by attempting less than half the paper 68 questions in total you attempt 32 33 questions 34 questions with good accuracy you could easily cross 99 so that is the takeaway folks from this session so stay tuned like our time for cat youtube channel and subscribe to it stay tuned to our cat analyzer page which is timeforeducation.com slash cat2025 there is a host of inputs that is avail that are available to you there is this percentile predictor that is available where you can instantaneously know your expected cat percentile all you need to do is to input your number of attempts and expected accuracy for those of you who are worrying as i said earlier that you have attempted less number of uh, questions do not worry this percentile estimator i'm sure will motivate you because the percentile will not go as low as you expected in this slot because normalization would kick in and you will be at a higher percentile all right so thank you very much folks stay tuned we have a panel discussion coming up in which we will get opinion from faculty members across the country thank you very much and all the best